en una Nueva York que cambia su fachada de forma constante, son pocos los restaurantes que se mantienen vigentes. Entonces, ¿cómo ha logrado sobrevivir este legendario asador durante más de 130 años? Soy Spencer y estoy en Peter Luger Steakhouse en Brooklyn, Nueva York. Si deseas probar un filete típico al estilo de la vieja escuela de la ciudad de Nueva York, este es el lugar. Peter Luger Steakhouse is an old school German beer hall styled steakhouse where we believe in, as my great grandfather would say, simple goodness. And what I mean by that is we have a small menu, but what we do, we try to make sure that we get perfectly. Este restaurante es uno de los pocos asadores calificados por Michelin de la ciudad. Y también ha estado en la lista de saga de los mejores asadores de la ciudad de Nueva York durante más de 30 años. Sin embargo, lo más sorprendente es su capacidad para sobrevivir en un vecindario que ha cambiado tanto a lo largo de los años. Peter Luger was opened in 1887 as Carl Luger's Café and Billiards. And my great-grandfather had a metal factory right across the street. And every day he would come in for lunch and have a steak and a martini. And when it was put up for auction, he poked his head in. There wasn't much going on. And without knowing anything about the restaurant industry, he kind of took a gamble on it. People knew they could come here for a great meal, great service, and It was reliable in a part of the town that wasn't as reliable. Now the neighborhood has changed drastically. I think it's been kind of a perfect storm of energy that has pushed us from a little steakhouse right over the Williamsburg Bridge to hopefully a destination restaurant in the United States. Cada filete es seleccionado por un miembro de la familia para garantizar que cumpla con todos los estándares. What defines a Peter Luger steak is we only start with USDA Prime, which is the highest grade the USDA will hand out. From there, we will only select a very small portion of it. Um, once it's brought to the restaurant, we dry age it in-house for an undisclosed period of time. I'm afraid I can't tell you guys that, but once it's been dry aged, we then butcher it in-house. We sear it and we want that steak going out sizzling hot and so From there, it's just going to your table and hopefully as quickly as possible. The plate comes out boiling hot and it's, it's actually still cooking when you get it. It's just fantastic. Are you very excited? Yes, we're all very excited. <laughs> Looks right. delicious. Lo primero que diré es que el olor es increíble. Se puede oler a kilómetros. Parece estar cocinado a la perfección. Tiene un olor increíble, pero lo más importante es el sabor. Está muy, muy tierno. Creo que para lograr que un asador se pueda mantener así de vigente durante 130 años, es obvio que deben hacer bien las cosas. Este filete está tan bueno como parece. Hay una razón por la que se han mantenido tanto tiempo. Esto de aquí es la razón. Salud. La comida finaliza con uno de sus postres clásicos, que se sirve junto con un plato colmado de crema batida. Y además sirven monedas de oro de chocolate oficiales de Peter Luger Steakhouse. People have just so come to expect that that if we don't have that it's not the Peter Luger experience. We go out of our way to really ensure that each piece of meat is as good if not better than the next and we keep the menu really condensed and tight and so it's bare bones but at the same time it's the perfect way of experiencing a classic New York City steakhouse meal. <laughs>